Okay, hello. Hey, um, this is going to be quick. Hopefully I can make it quick, okay? How can I practice my times facts? I want everybody in my class to be a black belt multiplication ninja. That's what I really want you to do because you're going to make life so easy for yourself if you do that. So what I'm going to ask you to do, and hopefully I'll have this for you tomorrow or maybe the next day, is we got a multiplication challenge log. This is how many times I want to make sure you're practicing before Thanksgiving. I want you to become a master before Thanksgiving, or at least have your license. Now, will everybody be able to do this? No, maybe a few of you will still need to be practicing a little bit more. Uh, you have to the end of the year, but I really want most of us by Thanksgiving to become either licensed multiplication uh, mathematicians or have our black belt, okay? So now, the question is, it kind of gets boring, right, if I just say like all flashcards. Well, there's a lot of different ways that you can practice. You need to be practicing every night. I would say minimum 10 minutes. If you want to do more, fine, but uh, 10 minutes should be good as long as you're focused on working. All right, how can I practice? Well, obviously, flashcards, sure. Now you've got your homemade flashcards the ones that you made and hopefully you remade, or you could use the ones that you can buy at the dollar store. That's what Miss Tellinson does. She buys those ones at the dollar store. Um, either way would be fine. Don't forget to add your 12s, though. I think the dollar store one doesn't have 12. Um, so that could be day one. Next day, you could go and log on to computer games. The multiplication.com is probably your best. I think it's even on my website, and if it's not, I need to put it on for you. You can play multiplication games and click on hard, easy, or medium, and you can practice that. Um, let's see another way. So that could be Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, mom and dad or brother and sister can quiz you. How can they quiz you? Well, you can hand them this paper that you should have in your binder. And if you don't have it in your binder, you can hand them your planner and ask them to quiz you. Now, should they quiz you on the ones? No, don't waste your time. Go from the threes on up to the tens, and then uh, I think the planner even has your twelves. So have mom and dad or brother or sister go, okay, they have the paper, and you're sitting over and uh, across from them, and they're like, eight times five. And you tell them, and, and tell them, give me three seconds. Don't give me more than three seconds. And once three seconds is up, tell me the answer, and we move on, okay? That's another way. So here's your little ways over here. What else can we do? Well, that was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, you can print off a math worksheet. There's a lot of places. MathAids.com, SuperTeacher, MathDrills.com. You can even Google and put multiplication worksheet in, and uh, you'll see thousands of worksheets you can print if you have access to a printer. Print it off. Ask mom to go to the microwave and set the timer for one, two, three minutes, and you work. You work as fast as you can getting those. These are, those are good ways to do that, too. Um, use your planner to check. Let's say you're making flashcards. Make flashcards. Make uh, whatever we didn't finish. You make those flashcards and use your planner to check because your planner has the multiplication table inside of it, right? Okay. Also, you can get out your math journal or you can get out a sheet of paper and you can handwrite your facts. You can just get out a piece of paper and start writing like this. Um, and this is something you can do uh, quietly at your house. So you could say like 9 times 9 equals 81. 9 times 9 equals 81. And you can keep doing that. You're kind of just repetitive so that you can get in your brain. Your brain sees a visual. You tell your brain to do something. Your hands move. You get a lot of things done. You know, 9 times 8 equals 72. And you can keep going. Um, anyway, and you just go all the way down the line. And I would only do this with the ones that you really uh, have a hard time with. Don't waste your time with two times two is four. But if you want to make a big, long rows of those, are 12 times 12, 12 times 8. You know, um, 
96, 12 times 8, 96, 12 times 8, 96. Repetition is good when you're trying to memorize something. We don't always memorize, but multiplication is important to memorize. And I've given you a lot of ways. There's a lot of ways here to um, work through the multiplication and not make it so boring. Every single day, you can shake it up. And some days you can spend 20, 30 minutes on it. Some days you can spend 10 minutes on it. But I, like I said, um, tomorrow I'm going to give you this. And you're going to tell me how long did you practice in parent initials. To say, yes, you practiced that long. Fill it up and see what happens. I bet you're going to get better. And maybe Miss Tomlinson will have something for you too. But certainly, if you can fill this up before Thanksgiving, you should be... Uh, a mathematician or a multiplication master. See you tomorrow.